So hi, let's go back to the FM transmitter. What I did is connected it to a housing of 9 volt battery and then we'll check it on 9 volt battery. And, and you can see that it is working pretty well. One, two, one, two, and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So with 9 volt battery, this uh, has a much longer distance. But what I want to do is now look at more professional way to see about the transmitting of this one. So let's get started. Okay, so what you see here is a spectrum analyzer. This is a professional one of Roden Schwartz. It is connected to antenna that can handle many frequencies because there are different lenses uh, of the dipole on the antenna. And this is in order to see how good the FM transmitter. Usually the problem with this FM transmitter is that they don't have a very good uh, tuning for the antenna so they have a lot of harmonies. So this is the main problem and what I want to do is first to see where is the uh, main harmony of this transmitter and then try to understand if this is a good one or not a good one. It is uh, probably uh, not bad because the transmitting is pretty well but since uh, the RF circuit is very very basic here so I don't expect to see uh, one frequency uh, and this is what we, we should get one frequency on the spectrum analyzer what the spectrum analyzer is doing it is scanning the frequency that uh, I've got so I've put here on the frequency, the start frequency to 20 megahertz and the stop frequency what I did is 400 megahertz since uh, I know that these are not very accurate let's even do the stop at 600 megahertz we will increase the span of the frequencies that we can see and now let's connect the battery and see what we get the antenna is here I will transmit from the other side in order not to be close too much to the antenna so wow do you see this so this is the problem with all this transmitting we can see that we have many many frequencies because the transmitter is not let's say professional transmitting let's put the start maybe even at 10 megahertz because I see we have many many frequencies so now we can see that the most uh, strong frequency in this case is here because it is the higher so let's uh, do a cursor and search where it is so we can see that it is on 153 megahertz whoa this is much higher than the radio frequency so it is not tuned very well so now I can tune it and search for the highest uh, highest a marker that is still in the frequency band of a regular FM transmitter. You can see all the other frequency as well and the distance between them. So we have also transmitting at 204 and we have jumps probably at the same frequency 254 megahertz. So uh, 254 so we have a uh, 52 megahertz between each frequency yes about 52 megahertz so this is the, basically the problem with these tr transmitters now I will adjust the frequency and we will be able to see the main frequency while it is moving so let's search for a tool to do it so now I will move the capacitor and we will see the changes do you see how they are changing so I can adjust 
now okay now I think the main frequency ah it is changing all the time so we have still uh, something much higher than the frequency we have in the radio let's try to reduce it so now we are we are still higher than the frequency band between 88 to 108 megahertz so what I can do of course is change uh, some of the components uh, the capacitor and reduce the frequency so if I will put another capacitor in parallel to this potentiometer capacitor I will be able to reduce the, the frequency band I want it to be between 88 and 108 the frequency band of FM and to be at the higher level in this frequency okay so uh, let's try to do it okay so for demo purpose I put a regular coil where the coil was just in order to show you how to uh, maintain the frequency you can see the frequency on the spectrum analyzer and I will show you that I have two options to change the frequency one is of course to change uh, the capacitor which I am moving now and you can see the frequency of, uh, moves and another way is of course to change the coil you can see that if I squeeze it the frequency will change so look at the when I'm squeezing so the frequency changes and this is how to set the correct capacitor and the correct inductor to get uh, your desired frequency so overall what is doing the frequency in this case is this coil it was fixed coil something about uh, I think about uh, half micro Henry and this capacitor that is probably uh, changeable between 3 to 10 puff so overall if you will change these two components you can uh, adjust your frequency to the desired frequency of course not everyone has this very expensive uh, spectrum analyzer for use uh, but you can maybe uh, buy much cheaper spectrum analyzer less professional let's say and uh, try to adjust uh, the frequency here you can see all the spurs the spurs are the additional frequencies that I don't want to see but they are here because uh, uh, the last stage the antenna is not a clean and you don't have a filter to eliminate all the other frequency and also this is not a, a crystal oscillator a fixed uh, PLL loop or something that can adjust a very specific frequency so overall for a game this uh, transmitter is okay in the next session I will go over the circuit and I will try to to draw it uh, on a, a paper and I will explain each stage what it is doing so thank you and bye